everybody, it's Mrs. Dempsey here. Um, I am attempting my very first educational video. Um, actually, my very first video ever. So please be fair and kind because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I miss you guys so much. And I wanted to post a video to go with what I had expected you to do today as far as single digit multiplication. So I just wanted to remind you of how we do it, okay? So the different tri tricks and tips and things of that nature, okay? So here we go, let's get set up. All right, hopefully you can see this. Um, yeah, that looks good. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over a cold, so I might be clearing my throat a little bit. All right, so our first guy is zero, and zero is the king. So the king wants everybody to be just like him. So if I have seven times zero, zero is the king, he wants seven to be just like him, so guess what? It's going to be zero. If I have 12 times zero, he's the king. He wants 12 to be just like him. It's gonna be a zero. And remember, you can um, flip-flop your, your digits. So if it's zero times 12, zero is the king still, and it's going to be zero, right? So that's zero. One is a mirror. So anybody that looks at one is going to see themselves. So if I have one times six, six looks in the mirror and sees himself. So it's gonna be a six. If I have 27 times one, 27 is gonna look at one and see himself. If I have one times 379, 379 looks in the mirror, and guess what? He sees himself. The answer is 379. So that's one. <clears throat> Twos, everybody knows that two, it starts with two, four, six, eight, 10, but a lot of people get tripped up after that. And I have a pretty easy trick for that. So there's two, four, six, eight, 10. Well, guess what? 10 and a two, we know makes 12. 10 and a four makes 14. 10 and a six, 16. 10 and an eight, 18. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. What's my next 10? After 10 comes, 20 is the next 10. Guess what? 20 and a 2. 22. So 22. 24. 26. 28. What's my next 10? 10, 20. You got it. 30, 32. 34. 36. 30. Eight. And I could keep going. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, and so on. Those are the twos. So if you know two, four, six, eight, and you know your tens, you could do the twos. All right, as far as the fives, the only tricky thing about the fives is that 15. People tend to forget about 15. This is how I always did it. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and so on. So if you look, there's always going to be a 5 followed by a 10, right? So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 
40. Okay, so those are the fives, and I think everybody has those down pretty good. For 10, okay, if we have tens, we know how to skip count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 and a 10 is 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, and I could keep going, right? It's the same thing over and over again. <clears throat> For nines, actually, let's say we have nine times six. That's my problem. The nines trick is with your hands, right? So remember, you hold up your hands like you're reading a book, and you're going from left to right, okay? Just like how you read. So it was nine times six. I'm going over six fingers. So let's see if I can show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. This finger drops down, and now how many do I have on this side? I have one, two, three, four, five. Five on this side, and how many on this side? One, two, three, four. That's a five and a four, so my answer is 54. What if I had nine times eight? Let's try it. So nine, with the nines trick, that means I'm gonna use this number for how many fingers I go over, okay? So I have nine times eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where my finger bends. How many fingers on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? All those. So a seven, and how many on this side? One, two. Seven and a two makes 72. <clears throat> Let's see, can you see? Yeah. 72, okay? So the nines, we know the nines trick with our hands. For 11, 11 is a double mirror. So just like one, 11 mirrors its number. <clears throat> so if I have 11 times eight, eight sees itself in two mirrors, so it sees itself twice, 88. 11 times two, two sees himself twice, you guessed it, 22. 11 times six, 66. You know this, you got this. <clears throat> here we have the 12s. Okay, so 12, the trick here, oops. 12 times four, let's try. I'm gonna take my 12, and I'm gonna break them apart into easy numbers. A 10 and a two, right? Those are our friendly numbers. So it's no longer a 12, it's a 10 and a two. So I have 10 times four. 10, 20, 30, 40. Two times four. Two, four, six, eight. What is 40 and an eight? You know it, 48. That's how I do the 12s. For the rest of the numbers, three, Four, sixes, and sevens, and eights. We may not have played the um, treasure hunt game to learn those yet. Some of you might know the threes and the fours. Um, maybe you know more than that. If so, awesome job practicing. However, if you don't know it, that's okay. Just remember that the multiplication symbol means groups of, really, okay? So if I have, let's go with four times six. Remember, this is groups of. So I have four groups of six. One, two, three, four groups of six. I'm putting six dots in each group because that's how many. I have four groups with six in each group. Oops, I just add an extra dot there. Let's count it up all together. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
My answer is 24. So if you don't know how to skip count those, it's okay. Just remember that multiplication sign means groups of. All right, you got this. So that is basically single digit addition. And hopefully it's a good reminder for you. Hopefully you remember how to do that and all the things that we've done together this year based on that. Um, other than that, I miss you guys so much and I really, really, really wish that I could be in school with you and not doing this from home. A, I miss you, and B, it's so much easier in person. <laughs> All right, guys, good luck with your um, multiplication task and let me know how you did. Um, you can even send me an email. Or you can send a picture of you guys doing the work. I would love to see that. I miss you so much. All right, bye.